in my days at school, my family had a boat yard. They finished school at four o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, I'd come down and borrow one of the boats or use one of the boats, a couple of scallop dredges from the boat yard. And uh, by six o'clock or by the time the workman was going to go home from work, I'd have 10, 12 dozen of scallops and everybody would have a freed for tea. But uh, not like that now. There's not, not the fish there. There was a big beacon on Bowbury, which was a radar tower, and it was very prolific on the very edge of the skyline. And there's a reef of rocks in um, Sawmill Cove called Priest and Clarks, and we used to line up the Priest and Clarks, and then it was line up the Hampstone and line up the different the little things that you knew on the cliffs and one thing or another. And, uh, he used to steam out mornings to show ground and get there just before daylight. And as soon as you saw daylight, this mast was everybody's mark, really. And this particular morning we was there and it was just coming daylight and it had gone. Uh, apparently, just after the war, it was no longer needed. And uh, a dear old friend of mine was telling me, Joe Logan, just after the war, one of the first jobs he had was demolishing these marks. But he didn't tell us. <laughs> Mind you, he wasn't fishing in those days, so he didn't appreciate the marks. All of a sudden, we had to find different marks for our pots, lab marks. Of course, as time went on, deck and navigators come in, and GPS, or whatever you call it now, it's all, all changed for the better in some ways and perhaps not in other ways, I don't know, but uh, I had one of the first Deckers, which was a Mark V, and uh, oh, it was absolutely massive, it was great big boxes. This bloke came down from Dartmouth and uh, he had a Morris van and it was full up just for my Mark V Decker, like, you know. He spent all day putting it in we switched it on, it started to work, and he showed me a big boxes of valves and that clicking away and rubbing and that. When I went to start the engine, there was no battery left, the battery was flat, so I had to remember to start the engine first before we, you know, put the deck in, like. <laughs> and now, of course, you got something that's a navigator and tells you the time and everything else and how long you're going to be getting there and all the rest of it and you put it in your pocket, you know, <laughs> which is fantastic progress, really, but uh, you wonder how you got on in the beginning, how hard you had to work for what you did. <laughs>